so it's good to see you so it's good to have you here so the last time we were able to import points and i hope that your points look like this they don't have anything so we want to give them a description we want them to be specific uh, so in the descriptions you remember that this is what we had so i so i told you that you must be very you must remember what descriptions you gave to point so in this case there is cl for center line re for root edge sh for spot height uh, se for shoulder edge so i want us to assign those descriptions now to our points so that the software can recognize those points okay so it's until you input or rather you edit uh, the description keys that's when the software is able to recognize them it's only able to recognize the station here or rather sta which is the benchmark because these exist so in the in the in the software already so for you to see what is existing you use the prospector tab right so the points are here uh so for example if you wanted uh uh you want to know your points to edit you know to select for example you can select all the points at a go if you want to delete them you can delete if you want to edit them you can always edit them from here so for example maybe you want to edit the elevations of your point right you can always edit them you just right click right but that was not the uh, objective of this session so what's the objective the objective is of this session is to help you now uh, apply the descriptions that you have in your excel sheet you apply them in the software so that the software can recognize the points that makes it easy for you to work in the workspace let's dive in so we seen that in the settings that's where the magic happens that's where you assign different settings that you want so in this case uh we go what do we want to set we want to set the descriptions uh for our points so we go to point groups if you want a surface parcels and whatnot uh you would go down that route so in this case we want to go to points and in the points we don't want uh to point the styles label styles yes we can edit that at a go uh separately but we can also edit that at the same time under the description keys so this is what we want you expand that and there's the civil 3d there's a preview here it's giving you the description keys that we already have that are inbuilt in the software so they are basically the sta uh, that's the benchmark uh the storm sewer manhole and a tree so we want to end it that we select the civil 3d we right click on that right and then we go to edit keys so we want to edit and input our new ones so when it comes to edit there is the code which is basically the description that you gave in the excel sheet then there is the style how you want them to show the marker and then there is the label style what what data what are the labels do you want and then which layer do you want to be shown the other parameters are not necessarily as important at this point so the, there are two options in this place uh, or in this tab or this vista and the first one is you can create directly as a new one so you select the existing and then press new and then you can see it has been called new description key so i want us to create for center line so we use the same code cl caps remember if it was caps it must be caps then here you must check you must select this for you to be able to edit in the style so in the style you can select all the pre-existing one but i can not see i want mine to be a little unique so i select this drop down and create new and in the create new i go to information i want to label it to name it so i want to name this center line all right and then of course created by you it's always good to have your stamp all over <laughs> so in this case uh my desktop is called uh the workshop uh this is the time and date uh also if you want to write a note for example if you're working with a team and you would want them to know something then you proceed uh then in the marker this is how you want it to look like uh so in this case my center line i want it to be the circle and a cross that's good enough all right then the scale always use the scale drawing there's no need to have a fixed scale so that if you change the scale of the drawing then it can adjust so for example uh use scale drawing here my scale drawing is one is to one thousand right 
and then of course you go to mm this is if you want something bigger you can edit that but i don't want that for now then in the display there's this visibility so in the plan it will be visible uh let's see in the model it will not be visible but i would want it to be visible right uh in the profile it's only the marker that is visible uh in section views i don't actually want my points to be visible in the section views all right so in the layer you you have two options you can change the layer from this point so all you need is to just click at this point and then you can adjust if you have a layer that is existing uh you can always select it here but i i want uh yes let us just we cannot select at this point we can create a new one so in this case i want to call it center line so we want to create one uh i want my color to be cyan all right okay all right uh this one does are not necessary at this point i press okay and then press okay all right and when it comes to color now i would want it i, I can select the color directly but also i can select it to be by layer and then it selects here and directly and then press okay so that will be by marker right and then sorry i want it in the model right in the model i of course by uh by layer so i can select cn right uh also the label i want it to be in cyan. so that means i am able to control how my display looks like and then i get to apply and select ok and then you can see that one has been created as a new point style when i press ok right and then in the layers here you must of course select and then i i click here and then i will go down and look for center line that i already created in the previous uh step all right so my center line is here press ok and then we are good so the second option is to copy Oh, sorry before we, we select that there is the point label style so for example what we have uh what is existing in the drawing here is the point or rather what is the default is this one the point number elevation and description that makes your workspace very crowded and i don't think that's something that you like so you want your workspace to be organized and you are able to see what objects are you working with so in this case i would recommend that you go with description only so description only will suffice at this point right so that is the first procedure of assigning description keys and then the second one is you can copy what you've already created and you just edit a few elements so we just right click this and then uh, you select cl you right click and uh, you right click and then copy so in this case I want to the first copy i want it to be the road edge right and then the style for the mark i don't want it to be the center line i want it to be standard so this is i'm showing you how you can select from the pre-existing one so we're just the standard uh then uh when you go to this uh to the label style you can see it has picked exactly what is in the layer that i i copied so description only is good uh then the layer um, i don't want uh that let me show how you can select from the existing so maybe we can call it uh uh this one or uh, you just if you have existing layers uh you so def points yeah it makes sense uh that's good so it will select that and then of course there's another option uh where for example this let's call this spot height uh, where you can adjust a few parameters so for example in the style i want to have uh you can copy this what is already existing so you copy the selection that means you've copied the center line and then we want to call it uh spot height so the spot height helps us these are just random points that help us to create a very good surface and then we go to the marker I don't want it to be this way. I want my spot height to be just uh, across, uh, just across, uh, uh, across with a square. Mm -hmm. No, no. Mm, just this is where you have to just do your thing. Uh, 
whatever suits you best uh, that's when so maybe that makes sense for me and then of course use the drawing scale so that means it's going to adopt whichever scale that will be there uh, then the display I'm going to use that one here so apply okay you can see we've already description uh, only that's okay then the layer uh, probably uh, we want to change that and then call it spot height All right in the spot height, uh, I want this to be red, okay? And then, okay, right? Okay, so there's a chance that it may not necessarily pick what exactly you went envisioned. So you would want maybe to, so you can also edit, you know, you can edit the current selection. So should you have maybe done something that uh, you didn't like and you wanted, for example, in this case, the color is by block and I wanted it to be by by layer. And you can see also, we, so we want this by layer, uh, okay. Uh, and also I want maybe to change the layer of these to what I've selected. And the layer in that case was called spot height, the spot height. This one, so I wanted to the color to be that. Okay, that is for the marker, and the same thing also for for the for the label. So my label, I want my label to be also red, right? Uh, or maybe if I want even to select a different layer, uh, a different color, maybe I want it to be blue. You have also that option, so you can always customize it to your preference and to your liking right so that's good for now uh kindly remember that you have to replicate that for all the point descriptions that you already have and once you're done you can close the vista by ticking so you wonder why is it not reflecting here right so what you need to do is you remember that was settings and it's only in the prospector that you can apply these settings to the current drawing so we go to prospector the settings were under uh, under points we right click we go to apply description keys and we tell it you have to apply uh, the things that I've asked you to do. And then that means whatever we had selected has been applied in here specifically, right? So you can see the center line, the spot height, just like we selected them. And then it does not only apply to a single section, it applies for all of the points in the whole drawing. That's good enough. But again, uh, you would want maybe to 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 check whether your points are actually at the location that you went uh, you you were designing for, or maybe if your points were georeference. If your points were not georeference, it means that you they will not be in the exact location where you wanted it. So, for example, if this was in northeastern or wherever, it will not be in that exact location right and also the second thing it means uh also you need to know which location what's the location of the point in re in, in relation to the uh equator so for example in this case it was somewhere around northeastern i mean it's in the north hemisphere right so to do that we still again go to settings because we want to do settings uh we can collapse this uh then we go to settings uh then in the settings we right click the drawing name and then uh, remember you can always save your drawing after every step so edit drawing settings right and once we do that we change the units and zone so uh, and also the scale so the units are meters if you in a different country use what favors your country and then the scale of course one is to 1000 you can see it has picked automatically for what is in the drawing and then of interest is the zone. So if the zone are categorized according to your country, uh, I'm currently in Kenya, so Kenya good works good for me. And then the coordinates available. These are the coordinate systems that are available in this country. And in this specific scenario, I was in the Northern Hemisphere. So that was this, that's seven degrees north. So in this case, please go and research on uh, these coordinate systems so that you can be able to understand uh, why am I selecting what? So that's your homework for this case. And once you've uh, uh, done those settings, you can also use map C as a sign, map C, uh, C, S. Yeah, 
map CS assign uh, this one. It also assigns the global coordinate system uh, for the current row. So if you don't want to go the long way, you can use that map CS assign, right? And then you follow the prompts. But in this case, I'm home school. So after that, you go to the geolocation. This is the tab that pops. It only appears after you allocated the right coordinate system. So you can select that, and then there's a contextual ribbon that pops. Uh, there, are, uh, there are a few uh, panels here, but in this case, I want the online maps. In the online maps, I want to use the hybrid. You can see it is turned off, so that's why you can see the workspace. But once I turn the map hybrid section, then boom, you know, I can actually visualize and see, yeah, this is my project. It's along this specific road. And the spot heights are here within the road reserve. The center line is actually within the center line of the existing road. You know, does it just start and that means then you're good. Another key thing is you can always work from here. You can work from here. You can work if you want to. Uh, you can select these, you know, you just do connect all of these points can get to connect them, all of them, all of them, right, uh, that way, and then you'll be good enough. Remember, if you want to turn it off, you can always come here uh, to the geolocation tab, uh, then uh, to this one, and you turn it off, and then you go back to your model space, all right? Also, remember that you can always turn this on at every stage of your design when you even create your corridor to see whether it fits exactly within your road reserve. That's it for me, gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you're going to apply this in your drawing. Should you have any questions, drop it down here, and I am going to respond and help whenever I can. Cheers.